السلام علیکم سو اٹ از ہیومن نیچر ٹو ہیو اے گول ان دیئر لائف اٹ کین بی لانگ ٹرم شارٹ ٹرم اور اٹ کین بی جسٹ تھنگس دیٹ یو ول ڈو آفٹر اینڈ موسٹ پروبلی یو ول ہیو سم تھنگ ان یور مائنڈ لیٹ می گیس وین دس بگر از گون فنش دیٹ یو کین گو ہوم اینڈ ہیو لنچ مے بی ٹرو ٹرو رائٹ سو ایون سوکر پلیئرس ول ہیو دیئر گولس Ronaldo and Messi will have their goal, maybe scoring 100, 100 goals in the next season. And even musicians, what they are going to do the next year, maybe changing their career to filming or um, becoming a movie star. And same for tennis players, they might change their career, or how many uh, Grand Slams they want to win. And same for all of you, including the people here, students, This is uh, from a previous batch of you, and including me. That's me when I was here. I mean, half the size, right? <laughs> uh, my name is Shifao, Muhammad Shifao Ibrahim. I studied from uh, University of Auckland, that's in New Zealand. Before that, I studied here. And now I'm an associate lecturer in the Maldives National University. And today's my job is here to uh, explain you my journey towards becoming a CFO, right? So who is the CFO? Anyone? I have seen some accounting students here. Anyone knows who a CFO, CFO is? So this is my goal. I will explain how I am trying to achieve this goal in my life, especially in the CHSC, how it changed me. So let's see the my life, right? This is my life, and this is 2013, and CFO is going to be in somewhere in the future, inshallah. <laughs> so I was born in 1987. I'm from an island called Kurendu. I'm from the Rajatera people, right? So, uh, and we moved into Mali to study in 1994. Uh, the whole family moved here, finished all levels, and got into top 10, which is rare. Uh, case for me, first time getting an award. And in 2004, the next year, I joined CHSC. This is the part which I want to emphasize. When I was in CHSC, I got three subjects, excluding the in Islam. I got accounting, business studies, and English language, ALO language, right? And by the end of 2011, not 2011, that was uh, grade 11, sorry. Grade 11, I realized I need a scholarship. I need a scholarship because I'm from an ordinary family. My parents, they can't support it if I go to even Sri Lanka or India, which is true, but that's not a problem. And I want to go somewhere nice, really, really nice. So if I want that, I need a scholarship. So at the end of grade 11, I started studying economics as the sixth subject, right? And the sixth subject, I studied economics on my own, without because they don't uh, enroll students at the middle of the semesters, right? So I had to study on my own. I studied at night. I talked to uh, Inaz, you might know Inaz, the previous finance minister. And he gave me an advice that if you want to study economics, you have to study really, really hard, because you only have less than one year to study economics. So what I ended up doing was I, start, st I wake up around um, 4 a.m. every day for one whole year. How crazy is that, right? I sleep like five hours a day. I studied, 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 studied. I don't know how many hours I studied. I uh, rarely played soccer, but it was worth it. By the end of 2006, I finished it. I was so happy, right? I got uh, A grade in economics. Studied on my own. How cool is that, right? Got fourth place in the national top 10. The Islam, I couldn't make it because, you know, you guys, some of you guys know. Um, so that's why my name is not up there, or else it would be. And also I got uh, full marks in accounting, 600 out of 600. It's very cool, right? Study very hard for those. And at the end of uh, 2006, I got the results, and I did not know what to do. There was 
no one to give me advice back then. So I joined MNDF and later joined uh, the president's office. I don't know what to do with my career at that point. Only thing I know, I needed a scholarship. And in 2007, at the end of 2007, I got a scholarship from the current employee university. I got the scholarship to go to any country in the world, any university I want to go. So I got this option. Nice scholarship, right? Same as getting the first place. You can go to any country in the world, any university that you like. So I decided I will go to New Zealand. I got married in 2011. Now, in, uh, inshallah, he'll be one year as of tomorrow. We have loot. And currently I'm studying. I have almost finished my ACCA. One more paper to go, which I'm going to finish next month's third. It means after two weeks, I'll be done with ACCA. And I'm uh, also studying for MBA from Cardiff Metropolitan University. That's uh, on block mode. I have to go uh, once a month to <coughs> Sri Lanka to study. These are all self-funded. Only reason I can fund this now is because I have got the previous qualification, which leads me to earn a uh, good income. Right. So you don't have to be a special person. Decide it today what you're going to do. And even if you don't know what you're going to do the next few years, an A-level good result will help you a lot. Even if you want to be a, say, sportsman, what if you get injured? There should always be a plan B. Right? For me, CHC was the best place I've studied so far. Right? Even better than the University of Auckland, which I studied my degree. You don't need to be extraordinary to do. I am from an ordinary family, ordinary person, lives and eat ordinary life, I don't know. And see what I have done. I have got full marks in accounting. No one can beat me in accounting in A level. You can be same, right? You guys can be equal to me, but you can't beat me now. So it's your day. Now study hard. And thank you. Do you guys have any questions? No? Thank yeah. New Zealand, because that place was really cool. I saw these pictures. <laughs> I was thinking going to Oxford, but changed my mind. Any other questions? Nope. Thank you.